Uh, well, what we can expect is that uh, the two uh, presidents, I mean, the president of the country and former president Laurent Gbagbo will meet. We don't know yet if uh, that meeting will happen uh, with, uh, you know, cameras allowed into uh, the presidential palace or if we'll, it will happen in a very more uh, discreet manner. We're expecting them to uh, uh, just probably uh, show themselves to uh, the journalists, to the press that will be uh, there just at the beginning and probably uh, that will be a sort of a statement that will be made at the end of their session. It is a historic uh, meeting that is uh, taking place uh, today uh, at uh, 5 p.m. in, in uh, Abidjan. That's uh, 7 p.m. in uh, Paris. It, it is it's historic in the sense that the two men have not met in person since 2010, and that was way a little bit before uh, the country really sort of uh, delved into a very chaotic time with that twist of electoral crisis that we know led to 3,000 uh, dead. So since then, uh, Laurent Gbagbo was. Uh, absent from the country. He was uh, at The Hague, where he was accused of crime against humanity. He was re recently acquitted for uh, those crimes by the ICC and was able to return to his country in uh, June 17th. And since uh, his return, there have been you know, sort of a, a very little com communication from uh, uh, Laurent Gbagbo to uh, Alassane Ouattara. From what we know, they were they talked for the first time on the phone uh, earlier this month, and this led to the meeting that we will see unfold uh, in uh, just a matter of uh, less than an hour, actually, uh, in the country. And what we are seeing this as, at least observers are seeing this as a, a very a big step forward in the uh, path to national reconciliation that has been s talked about so actively in the last few months, uh, namely uh, from the side of the government. So uh, we are left to just see how this will unfold and if there will be concrete uh, steps and uh, declarations made by uh, the president, but also uh, Laurent Gbagbo after this meeting. Thank you very much indeed for bringing us up to speed. France 34's Hanan Fajani.